Hey, what's going on YouTube? Today we're going to tackle the upper oil pan, pickup tube, and remove the pistons. Stick around. Is the the, uh, the pickup tube? All right, so we've already gotten uh, four of the bolts. Like two of them are the uh, the front timing cover or outer timing cover, <clears throat> and then this bolt here and this one here. That's for the uh, inner or rear timing cover. So you already have four bolts out of the way there. One here. Another one here. Here. Here here, 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 this for now pull the gear pull the pump Alright, so <clears throat> keep in mind these three are for the oil pump. This is the main uh, the main gear that goes around the crankshaft. Make sure this uh, shoulder goes uh, towards the outside of the engine. No shoulder in, shoulder outside. And once you separate, once you separate the upper pan here. Once you separate it from the engine, then you can pull the oil pump completely. So here's an O-ring here as well. I'm sure this may have been overlooked at some point in time, but have to have this uh, O-ring here. But yeah, once you unbolt these three bolts here and separate the upper oil pan uh, then you can I mean I, that's how I prefer to do it anyways so this is an area here um, where modifications have to be made um, for when you do a uh, an ARP main stud kit you know we'll cover that when we get to it but um, 
if you look closely here, all of these outside uh, main uh, factor main studs, they're like a, about a quarter inch from hitting the uh, the windage tray here. But when you when you install when these these outside ones here, these eight. So when you install a uh, an ARP main stud kit, you either have to shim this shim this further out, or you have to trim a little bit, notch a little bit here for the for the studs because these are uh, these are all uh, these are all like factory bolts. Uh, the main stud kit is uh, it's studs and nuts. So with the nuts on, you have an extra like quarter inch or so, or maybe a little more than that, of like studs sticking past uh, these main caps. So you, you kind of you run into interference. You run into interference with this. So that's something to to note. All right. So this next step here. <clears throat> kind of like to uh, I kind of like to just loosen these uh, the rod bolts um, as I go that way I can just kind of take care of oh kind of loosen them interested in keeping all these in order just pull them out one at a time here you don't have to worry about the piston just falling through it's not it's not gonna just fall right through
that's all six of them. And um, just to show you a little something about how well balanced these are from the factory. Um, <clears throat> these crank uh, these crank shafts and pistons and all that. You look here. The only weight on this crankshaft is this small uh, little 3 8 drive breaker bar and you watch look at that I mean just a little bitty little tiny push and the crankshaft just like tries to spin by itself it's and it probably hasn't been cranked in, in months you know so yeah that's going to be it for this video. Um, the next video will pull this whole main girdle, the crankshaft, and the flex plate, and that'll pretty much be it. After that, we'll be ready for uh, machine work. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time.